Trump supporters take over town hall with nasty surprise as Maxine Waters tries to leave. Maxine Waters got a big wake-up call when she held a town hall in Gardena, California. The California congresswoman was met by a few hundred President Donald Trump supporters who were there to protest. Maxine was shocked as the protesters took over the town hall, but that's not all. They had a nasty surprise waiting for Auntie Maxine when she tried to leave the community center. You're going to love this. Maxine Waters' town hall turned into a nightmare for the 78-year-old congresswoman. Right from the beginning, it was plain to those who supported Trump that they would not be allowed entrance, so they started chanting let us in. When that didn't work, they set up their protest right in front of the doors to the community center on public grounds, and with bullhorns, they shut Maxine down. Calling her Dirty Waters, the protesters got very incensed as they heard Maxine start rattling on about Trump colluding with Putin. Immediately, they started yelling, respect our president, and that drowned out Maxine so badly that she reacted by chanting on her mic, impeach 45. When she was unable to stop the protesters and could no longer continue her talk, she lost her cool and started screaming, stop the disruption. Stop it. You will not disrupt my town hall. The mainstream media refused to report on the debacle, except for one small blip in an LA Times article, and you'd think your town hall was a success if you believe the liberal media. LA Times reported, Waters' opponents were dressed in pro-Trump garb and called her dirty waters. Chanel Temple said she lost her job a few years ago and hasn't been able to find a new one because she doesn't speak Spanish. She said Waters has destroyed the black community by supporting immigrants. But the real coup de grace by the Trump supporters came when Maxine was trying to leave. Video footage shows a terrified Maxine surrounded by her handlers and police as they discuss her exit. She was scared because the protesters had a real nasty surprise, they surrounded every exit of that community center waiting to let her know once again that she isn't welcome in her own district. Let's be clear about one thing here. The Trump supporters acted like real patriots. Never did they incite violence. They were exercising their First Amendment rights, and unlike those who Waters praises, such as the liberal rats Antifa and Black Lives Matter, these Americans terrified Maxine Waters because they were telling the truth. Finally, a small blue door on one side of the building opened and Amy Maxine scurried to her waiting SUV, surrounded by police. The crowd erupted into booing and a few gave her a silent salute of the middle finger as her SUV slowly made its way through the screaming crowd. One African-American man who lives in her district yelled on his bullhorn as she appeared from the building, Dirty Waters has got to go, Dirty Waters has got to go. Maxine Waters is about as unpopular as she can get among the citizens of the 43rd district. In fact, she is looking at a very tough opponent come November 2018. More than half of her constituents are Hispanic, and they have left the Democratic Party and registered as Republican to back Omar Navarro, the young GOP candidate who is challenging Ole Maxine for her congressional seat. If this debacle at the town hall is any indication, Auntie Maxine's days are numbered as a congresswoman. We say good riddance to one of the most corrupt swamp creatures circling the drain in Washington, D.C.